We're here with head women's basketball coach Kate Peterson Abiad. Coach, do you, want to, do you want to give us your overall thoughts on today's game at Niagara? That's just a really disappointing way to finish the game. Um, I thought that we battled more this game. We played hard. I thought that we executed better offensively. Um, defensively, you know, we held them in regulation to 61 points and um, shooting the ball, we were shooting the ball, you know, almost 50% from the field and at actually at halftime we were shooting the ball like 56% and all of those things falling into place, you know, holding them defensively, shooting the ball better and yet we still end up in an overtime game and we still end up losing the game. Um, our margin of error right now is very small, we're just not that much better than anyone and so we have to pay attention to every detail and, and tonight the details that beat us were our inability to make free throws because we were 6 for 14 from the free throw line. Um, it was our inability to get box outs when we really needed them. Uh, we had a box out issue all game long but certainly down at the end we, we had some critical box outs that, that really cost us. Um, and then turnovers at, at big moments. Um, We've got a lot of kids on our team who just not ha have not been in those moments. This is their first experience being in those big moments, and they're making mistakes. And that is not, it's not that uncommon. It's just we hope to be farther along at this point. And, and they're gaining their experience in these critical times of the game. And we're just not in a, in a position right now where we're able to take care of enough of those details to get the win. And it's disheartening because... As I said, we're not, you know, clearly better than anyone on our schedule, and so when we have games like this where we're right there, we've got to get them, and uh, and I, and it it snowballs a bit because now you start to feel like, well, can we win the close games and and that type of thing? So that's another thing that we'll just have to battle. But this is a young group, and they're still trying to find their way, and they're making mistakes, and um, you know, I think they're eager to get better and get past this so that we can start finding some success. Going back to your offense, you had four players score in double figures today, led by Ashanti Abshaw with a career-high 21. Can you expand a little bit on your offensive performance? Well, today I thought we played more as a team than any other game we've played in. I thought that we really moved the ball well. I thought that we found people that needed to have the shots and, and that we you know, hit some big shots. And there were some big shots that, that fell for us. Um, and I thought we distributed, we, we moved the ball better, we didn't just take quick shots, we really played as a team. And this, I think, was the biggest and best example of our, um, you know, a unified team playing on offense. Um, and, and so I think we took a step in that area. And that's what you hope to see is the scoring distribution, you know, evenly amongst those kids who played, you know, the most time. You got some solid minutes from Kayla Patterson off the bench today. Can you talk about her performance? Well, you know, Kayla is one of those kids that's not had a lot of game time. And, um, you know, she came in with two other posts in the same position. And, you know, we're, we're still looking for, you know, who's going to be our most consistent contributor in that group. And tonight we felt that Kayla really was giving us, you know, some boost inside. Um, she was defending pretty well. And, you know, she had a great look at a, at a last-second shot um, to end regulation. And... And she also, I thought, rebounded all right on the inside in, against the zone. But defensively is where she was really helping us the most. And, um, and you know, that, that consistency, you know, now will she be the one next game? Will it be Sade? Will it be Alyssa? It, it seems to be up and down. It changes a bit. Um, but we're just looking for some consistency. And it's really important for Kayla to get those minutes to to get some time under her belt so that she can start to develop into a better and better player. You know, all those kids are, they all have potential and they all have abilities that can help us and we just need to, you know, to give them some confidence and to give them some time so that they can progress. Moving forward, you close out a three-game road swing at Kent State on Wednesday. What's the focus? Well, we just, we, we need to continue to focus on us. Um, we spent the majority of our time in game preparation here for this game um, on working on us and rather than working so much on what they do offensively and defensively uh, we spend a lot more time working on what we need to do better and that that seemed to be a little more effective I, I thought that it helped us um, not be overloaded by you know all the things that our opponents are doing um, and I'm realizing with this inexperience on our team that we need to give them you know a, a real 
maybe capsulated group of information so that they aren't overwhelmed. Um, there's an awful lot that they're trying to handle at this point, and um, so we'll, you know, we'll just prepare for Kent based on, you know, getting ourselves in the best position we can to win. I know that's a really, you know, not not very specific answer, but. Um, you know, at this point, it is really about how to bring our kids along, um, you know, game by game, and try to get experience that will benefit us as the season rolls forward. Thanks very much, Coach. Thanks.